thing up to the network. So obviously, you gotta first plug it in the network. There's a network jack in the back here. Plug it in. And then we have to configure it to your, to be on the network. Um, so you have to know what your network addresses are. Log in. Often, in home networks, the router is gonna be, the network is gonna be uh, an address of 196, 168, um, one dot something, or something like that. One ninety six one sixty eight zero dot something. It depends completely, but that's what a lot of the default um, home networks are set up for. So you have to know what your network is. You have to know what's called the um, network address and the net mask. The net mask is usually two five five two five five two five five zero, but it could be different. Um, so what I'm going to do here is set that up, this up. Um, what you need to do is you need to give us an IP address, an address that's not used on your network. So I'm going to do, and then I'm going to do 192.168.1.190 because I know that's not used. So what you want to do is like IF config, which you logged in, um, ETH0, that's the network interface name, and then that address you're going to give it, 192.168.1.190, and then the word netmask. And your net mask, which is usually this for home networks. And then you're going to type the word up and hit return. And then you're going to type, um, I, I, just to make sure it's up, I'm going to do what's called ping. I'm going to contact one of the other hosts on my network. And this is usually, if, you, if your network is 192.168.1, one, usually dot one will be your router. Um, and it is, so it's up. So now we got this up, that's great. Now what I need to do is start what's called the SSH service. So I'm gonna clear the screen first of all, just by typing clear. Okay, now that that's enabled, I'm going to start up the SSH service. Go to Etsy, init.d, sshd, start. It'll take a couple seconds, but um, once it's done, you should be able to actually connect remotely to your machine over the network. And that's what I'm gonna do because it's gonna allow me to easily work on things, pull files back and forth, as well as it's gonna more easily allow me to um, record what I'm doing because I won't have to go through this video camera, I can just capture my screen. So, I'm gonna make sure I can actually SSH, I'm gonna SSH the IP address I gave it to itself and it connected. Good, so that's good. Just remember your IP address, whatever you used, because that's what we're gonna need later. Okay, so now let's connect to our machine so we can take a look around. I'm using a, a modern version of Windows which has SSH built in the command line. If uh, you don't have that, if it doesn't have, if you type SSH and Windows says it does. If it says command not found or something like that, um, then you have to um, use an SSH client. Um, one that I like to use is called Putty. That's P-U-T-T-Y. And we can uh, you just Google Putty. This is it. Um, I like this one, but Windows has it now, so I'm just going to use the Windows one to make it easy for you guys. Uh, one annoying thing about connecting to this machine is it's an older version uh, it uses an older algorithm and that Windows will not um, let you connect to by default so you have to or at least a client won't connect to by default so you have to tell it to connect so what we're going to do is SSH minus O host key algorithms spell that right algorithms equals plus SSH DSS. Alright, and then root at the IP address you gave it, 192.168.1.190. Nope, 
type the IP address wrong. It's 192.168. It'll ask me for my password, and I'm in. So this is now, I'm actually in the machine remotely. So I can do a whole bunch of things. Um, one thing I'm uh, you know, CD around, I can look around the file system. One of the things we're going to do is we're going to grab that file, user local bin, and I think it was, was it start? Yeah, it's start. And this is the actual binary for the game. So how can I get that? Let's pull up another command line. And I'm just going to move to my desktop and drop in my desktop. Clear the screen. And then we're going to do SCP for secure copy protocol. Minus O again. i got to figure out how to tell Windows to uh, make this by default. It's, there's probably a config file somewhere or the registry I have to edit. Host key algorithms. I always spell algorithms wrong. Equals plus SSH DSS. That just again, this option is telling Windows to allow the old, an older um, method of encryption to prove its identity. Uh, and then root at 192.168.1.190. You're going to use whatever IP address you used. S uh, colon slash user local bin start and just type start. So it's going to actually reach out to this uh, login as root at this IP address, get the file user local bin start and copy it to my current directory as start. Type in my password, boom, it's done. And you see now I have this file right here. That is the actual mega touch game binary. So in uh, episode three we will start hacking on that binary. Taking a a look around seeing what's what's up with that all right have fun see you next time